Hi guys! One of my last videos, I mentioned that I was previously a dental assistant. I attended this little, but what? I attended dental assisting school and a lot of people had a lot of questions about it and I did want to jump into the subject because I completed dental assisting school in 2019. I graduated as a valedictorian actually, so I was valedictorian of my dental assisting class. I got my dental assisting certificate and I just wanted to make a video on why I did not go on with my dental assisting certificate job because I actually hated it. I'm gonna give advice to people out there who are going into dental assisting school or maybe thinking about going into it. This is just my opinion, disclaimer right here. This is just my opinion on what I dealt with, why I'm not choosing this. And if I could have found videos on this a long time ago, back in 2019, whenever I was looking into this, I would have saved myself a lot of time and just not gone into this career path. But every career is different for everybody else. You gotta see what you like. I'm glad I did it just to experience it and know that that is not the field for me. That's why now I am in a field that I love and I know it could be very successful in. So I'm glad that it drove me to the career path I am going into now. But like I said, I wish I had this video a long time ago five, six years ago, so I would have known. But like I said, it's different for everyone else. This is my opinion my opinion if you don't like it squirrel away if you're a dental assistant currently and you love your job good for you but i didn't like it so let's get into why dental assistant school might not be for you so i attended a nine month program i was actually valedictorian of my program like i said i was very into the school part the school part it's nine months long, or it was for me. I got a certificate and I thought I was going to love it, but whenever I got out, I did not love it. During that period of school, you were doing everything from going into dentist offices, basically doing clinicals, but they don't technically have clinicals for dental assisting. You kind of just go and you look around shadow, but you don't really do clinicals. Um, so you do everything from that. You do dental impressions on the students, like with each other. You basically fill out spreadsheets of um, charting like you would in the dentist office. You learn everything from the names of the teeth, from dental x-rays, just a bunch of stuff you do in the program. It's a very great program. If you don't know what dental assisting is, it's basically you are sitting side by side with a dentist and you are assisting the dentist. You are handing them the tools, you are working on the teeth with them. Technically, they assign prescriptions, they basically work on the teeth, but you are right next to them, handing them what they need, clearing out the mouth, um, suctioning, doing all that, okay? So you are doing as almost as much as the dentist does. The number one thing, the number one thing that bothered me as dental assisting is the pay. The pay is not good. It probably varies in different states, but whenever I was in school, they were telling me how dental assistants are basically getting paid as much as dental hygienists, which is not true at all. Dental assistants typically start off at $13 an hour. Whenever I got out of school, my first job, I was getting $13 an hour. For spending nine months in school, I don't think that's a lot of money because right now I am waitressing, making about $25 to $30 an hour without a degree. So I'm making way more than I would be with a certificate. $13 an hour is not a lot, um, definitely for what you're doing. You are side by side, handing the dentist the tools, doing what the dentist is doing. It's, it's just, I personally did not think it was worth the stress and the hassle at all. You have a lot on your plate is dental in general is just very invasive. It's a lot of work. Um, the dentists are under a lot of stress, which puts you under a lot of stress because y'all are hand in hand and you're always working beside them. And I just do not think the pay is worth it. The pay could vary, but I've worked at two different dentist offices and I've also done front of the house, which is like scheduling. I was like a hygienist coordinator and I've also worked back in the house as a dental assistant, which is assisting the dentist with the tools. And both of them started at about $12, $13 an hour. And just for the stress and all the pile up and all the schooling I had to go through, I personally did not think it was worth it. So number one would be the pay. And definitely when I was in school, they would hype it up about like how good the pay is. And just to me, I just, I didn't think it was worth it. So that's my number one no-no. My number two reason of a why I don't think it was for me was the stress. 
It is so stressful. So currently I am school. I am school. I am in school. Currently in school for radiology. So I am in the medical environment compared to the dental environment that I was in for over a year. Dental is more stressful than medical. And I know that sounds insane, but like I said, I'm in school for radiology. So compared to dental, whenever you're working hand in hand with a doctor, they're under a lot of stress. The patient is in a lot of pain for, you know, with their teeth, like I said, tooth pain, unbearable. The stress is just crazy. When the dentist is stressed, they can take it out on you. I'm not saying it's at every facility, but there is a possibility that they can take it out on you because you're the closest person by them and you're working hand in hand with them. And that just puts you under pressure. And on top of that, the patient is under you, typically awake, maybe under anesthesia, depends on the situation, but it is just a lot, a lot of stress. And I understand the dentist um, reasoning because it is, it's a lot on them, but you know, when you're working hand in hand with them, they take it out on you, okay? So the situation just can be very, very stressful. And that, that wasn't for me. That's why I moved to front of the house dental, which is typically like work in the front desk. I was a hygiene coordinator. So I kind of coordinated everything with the dental hygiene team. And even that was so stressful because a lot's put on your plate and it just wasn't for me. Number three reason why a dental assisting was not for me is because the hours. So dental, you are working in a clinic. I don't know of any other dental facility where you are not working 40 hours, which is eight hour shifts. Um, in medical, the good thing about medical is you can work three 12 hour shifts rather than five eight hour shifts. So it's just medical is so much more flexible than dental when it comes to work hours. The only thing good about like dental is you, you're guaranteed like holidays off because you're in a clinic setting, but I'd much rather work three 12 hour shifts and then be off for four days a week rather than have to be guaranteed those five days a week in dental. So just the hours in general, I just don't like. Whenever I get out of school for radiology, I am going to be that girl who works three 12 hour shifts because I need four off days, honey. The fourth reason why dental assisting was not for me is because once you, in school, like I said, you don't have that clinical practice, at least they didn't for us, to where you're in clinical and you're really working side by side, seeing how it is. So you don't get the experience until you get out of school. And once I got out of school and I was really working hand in hand with the dentist, teeth aren't for me. Teeth are not for me. You see a lot, okay? I've also worked in pediatric dentistry and they will bite your finger. They will bite your finger. And that's okay. That's okay, it happens. But once you really get in there it's, and you just don't like something, you don't like it. I did not like working in people's mouths. I didn't, it wasn't for me. Radiology is just so much different compared to dental because radiology, Yes, you're seeing things like going into surgery, MRI, cath lab, but that's so cool. I don't find inside of a mouth that exciting. I just felt like I wanted more and it just wasn't for me. So that's my fourth reason. My fifth and last reason why dental assisting is not for me is because with dental assisting, it's very hard to expand or kind of grow without having to go back to school, if that makes sense. Once you're a dental assistant, you're a dental assistant. You can do different things, like if you wanna go into ortho for braces, if you wanna go into general dentistry, if you want, it's just, or if you wanna go into like endo, like there's just, there's different things you can do. But if you wanna expand your career, like for example, if you wanna be a dental hygienist, you have to go back to school. You can do it, of course, but it's just like, I don't know. I just feel like it's it's a lot of work to kind of move up. And I wanted to do den dental hygiene, but then I'd have to go back to school for two years and it would be hard to work. And then the pay isn't so good. So it's hard to work and then go back to school. I, it was just too much for me. And with x-ray, I keep going back to x-ray, sorry. I just love x-ray. With x-ray school that I'm in, the thing about x-ray is you can always expand. So I can cross train modalities. So I can go into MRI, I can go into CT, 
I can go into Nuke Med, I can go into surgery, I can go into general x-ray, I can go into mammography, I can do all that without having to go back to school. I can just take a registry te test and then like um, train like on the job and then boom, I'm getting higher pay, boom, I'm doing a different modality and I'm cross training. I'm educated in all these different things to where dental there's just like so much that you can do like i just wanted more like i want to be multi modality if that makes sense and that's kind of hard with dental to where you're kind of like one thing which isn't a bad thing i just like to i just always want more that's one thing about me i always want more but besides that Overall, it just wasn't for me. This video isn't to hate on dental. This video isn't to say that if you're a dental assistant, you're going unnoticed, that your job isn't good. No, I clarified in the beginning. It's different for everybody. If you love it, you love it, but I didn't. And like I said, I didn't have this video while I was in school and I had no idea what I was getting myself into. When I got out of school, so different because you didn't have really that clinical experience. You really don't know what it's like until you jump into it and you, yeah, it's just, it's so different. So I didn't get to see, so I just, and like I said, people were asking about it. So I just wanted to clarify and give you my honest truth everything's different like i said everything's different everyone is different every state is different it's just this was my story this is what i experienced and i'm just letting you know girl but shout out if you are a dental assistant and you love your job and you don't go unnoticed because at the end of the day i was in your position and you do a great job and your work doesn't go unnoticed and you know you are really helping the dentist if a dentist didn't have their dental assistant I don't know, but just know that I'm not bashing you. I'm not bashing the career choice. It's just, this was my story, but I hope this helps somebody. If you were looking to go into dental school and you wanted my truth, this is why I did not choose it, but everyone's different. So yeah, if you have any questions, comment down below. That's it. Love you. Bye.